Welcome to PDMA Corporation, home of the MC Emacs. This is the first part of a series of modules designed to take a look at the MC Emacs, look at the features of the MC Emacs, the benefits of the MC Emacs, and how those benefits can assist you in your electric motor reliability program. But before we get going, let's take a look at our company and, and who is PDMA Corporation. Well, we're privately held. We've been active in predictive maintenance since 1983. We produce the Emacs for dynamic testing, the MCE for static testing, and we're the only company in the world that places both the dynamic and static testing capabilities into one field portable, highly accurate technology called the MCE Max. So, whether the motor's running or shut down, I have the ability to go out to that asset, test it, and then have excellent a chronological baseline data very comprehensive that I can trend the condition of this motor throughout the life of the motor. Now let's talk about summary of motor failures. Why do we even need to do predictive maintenance? Well as you can see here from this EPRI study, majority we have quite a few mechanical issues but there's also electrical issues that we have to be concerned with being 10 percent rotor and 37 percent stator. So it's very important that we have a firm understanding of what's causing these problems. So you need a technology in place to be able to identify these issues before they become catastrophic. Why even do a, a, a reactive or a predictive maintenance program? Well, we can see here if we're doing if we're in a reactive mode, i.e., we're just waiting for that motor to fail, regardless of the time. Regardless of the, the situation that you may be in, you may be on a, uh, uh, an, uh, right before a, a heavy production load and the a motor fails, causing the production line to go down, causing increased tension, loss of dollars. Well, if you're running that mode, it could be $17 per horsepower. If you're preventive maintenance, basically doing a time-based strategy on your motors, you could lower that significantly to $12 per horsepower. But if you're predictive and you're using predictive technologies, you can see a further reduction in your cost per horsepower down to about $8 per horsepower. In today's highly competitive market, it's important to have a firm grasp of what's happening in your plant, what's happening in your maintenance for your, for your assets. And by employing a predictive strategy, you can severely lower your overall maintenance costs. So let's talk about the benefits of MCE Max. How can the MCE Max benefit you? Well, obviously, number one is financial. As with any technology that you bring into your facility, you have to show financial benefits, a return on investment. Well, we, have, we expect to see a reduction in unexpected motor failures. If we understand the condition of our motors, if we do a quality assurance check before we accept a motor, we know we're accepting a clean, healthy motor, placing it into a clean, healthy power circuit, and we're trending that motor through time, we should not have any unexpected motor failures. We should be able to plan for those motor failures so that they don't happen at 2 a.m. at night or at the most inconvenient time uh, for a, a motor failure to occur. Well, less downtime, better scrap material control, loss of in, less loss of inventory. So maybe we don't have to keep multiple spares in our warehouse, keeping a high inventory cost rate. In today's uh, time when we're trying to reduce our expenses, keeping a lower inventory can certainly help us do that. Improved quality assurance. As I mentioned earlier, if we're doing a QA check before we accept this motor, we know that it's, we've, we've, been we've been given a healthy, clean motor, well, then we, we're certain that it's going to go into this motor circuit and we're get, we expect it to operate in a healthy condition throughout the time. But if we're given a motor and we don't know the condition of it and we place it in there, well, then there's always that risk that we may not have uh, received a healthy motor or that there was a problem with the installation of, of the motor. And then lastly, we're going to talk about energy cost analysis. In today's day and age, where we're seeing higher energy costs, we want to make sure that the motors that are operating are operating as efficiently as possible. So we want to ensure that it's the proper efficiency, it's operating in the right in the right load range, and if there is an opportunity to possibly change to a higher efficiency motor, 
we provide the tools to be able to calculate the benefits of that. Some cases it's a good idea to change to a higher efficiency motor. Some cases it may not be. Now, let's talk about our customer list. Should you be on this list? These are the customers that we serve and they, they, they are a broad group of industries that utilize our technology from service, pulp and paper, petrochemical, power utilities, manufacturing. All of these customers have seen the benefits of utilizing the MCE Max in their electric motor predictive maintenance program. Now let's talk about some of our other modules that we'll be discussing later on. Like I said, this is just an introduction to MCE Max, the benefits of the MCE Max. But what PDMA does differently and uniquely is we try to break that motor down into six digestible fault zones, starting with a power circuit, insulation, rotor, air gap, stator, and power quality. And when we dissect these motors into these fault zones, we can start to get a better feel for what is the condition of each of these fault zones. And if we see adverse trends occurring, we can alert you early in the fault cycle so that we can reduce the chances of it being catastrophic. So it's important to break these motors down into these six fault zones, get comprehensive data regarding each of these fault zones, and being able to trend that over time and looking for any adverse conditions that may exist. Well, this was just, a, as I mentioned, a brief overview of the MCE Max. We're going to be doing some more modules on those six fault zones. And I hope that you take the time to, to, to come back and take a look at the MCE Max and those six fault zone modules. I thank you for your time. If you have any further questions, please contact PDMA Corporation for more information. You can reach us at 813-621-6463 at extension 118 or pdma at pdma.com. We look forward to hearing from you. And once again, thank you for your time.